that, that's good. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it like this right here, right here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we're going to talk about something a little bit different, and it's something that I had already recorded a video on and then went back and watched it and not only was the tone really down and somber i didn't really give you any any way out of the situation that i was talking about and and that's not fucking helpful so we're gonna try this again and here we go i'm gonna assume that a lot of you who are watching this video are writers possibly poets possibly fiction writers Maybe script writers and songwriters, whatever. Okay, doesn't matter. Maybe just artists of any kind. Um, but I'm going to assume that you're watching this because you want to grow your audience. Or you want to just grow in general. You want to be a little higher than you were before you started watching my videos, okay? So with that said, um, one thing that I see people do all the fucking time and it fucks them up is they get community confused with audience. And you really can't do that because then when shit doesn't work out the way you want, you feel like you did something wrong. You feel like your art isn't good enough. And that's not what it is. To explain the difference between community and audience, it's like this. And it's like this in music, it's like this in film, it's like this in um, fucking booktube, okay? If you have like events that you go to, let's say. Let's say you read, we're, we're, we're talking about poets right now. You read at events, okay? Most of the other people who are going to be at that event are going to be other poets. Because for whatever reason, poets have a really hard time like building an audience. They don't have a hard time building a community. They have a hard time building an audience. So most of the people who are going to be at poetry readings are other poets who are wanting to read. Okay, And that's fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. Then you guys like print books out and you guys swap books and maybe someone like even pays you for your books. Like you sell some books and you're like, dude, this is awesome. I got rid of like 30 books tonight. I also got 30 books, but I got rid of 30 books tonight. This is fucking awesome. Okay. Then nothing changes. And then you go to the next event and unless you have a new book, everyone at that event already has your book from the last time you went to the event because most of the people there are going to be other poets who are there to read, not people there who are audience members waiting to soak up something. Now, the more cynical fuckers out there right now are gonna be going, you can't say that, you haven't been to every fucking thing, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I'm old as fuck and I've been through all of this shit a hundred fucking times. And if any of you have ever been in a band, you know what it's like. It used to be you go to a show, there might be some people there who were actually there to like hear music, but most of the like giving stuff out and doing the back and forth is with other bands. And the problem with this is, is that those people are not gonna be like true fans because they're trying to put their own stuff out. And so they gotta focus their disposable income on their art. As soon as you're dealing with somebody whose disposable income is focused on their own shit, you, that's not a fan of yours. That could be someone who likes your shit, but that's not going to be a true fan. And the other problem with this is, is other artists, when they are the people who like your shit, they're inspired by it, okay? And then they create art because you inspired them. But there's gonna come a time when your inspiration isn't strong enough anymore and they need an inspiration from another artist. And they keep looking and they keep searching. And that's what a good artist is supposed to do. So when you base all of your, like, oh, my fan base, if it's just a bunch of other artists, that's really not going to work out well, okay? You need it to have fans with disposable incomes. Okay. There are 
different ways you can do this, I guess. What I would challenge you to do is to look at if you have a mailing list, if you have like an Instagram or whatever, um, whatever it is that you track, a sub stack, whatever it is that you track your audience on. If you go through there and look and the majority of those people are other artists, you're running the risk of not growing. And when you're not growing, that means you're stagnant. And when you're stagnant, that means you're dead. Okay. This is just something to keep an eye out for. So then how do you fix that? You fix that by reaching out to people who aren't artists with your work. And that sounds really fucking weird. And it sounds really foreign to a lot of us, but it's what you got to do. You have to expose people who aren't other artists into your work. Now, let me, let me say this. Is it okay for you to give your stuff to somebody who then becomes an artist because of your inspiration? Yes, that is awesome. And I'll tell you why this is awesome because that person becomes a true fan because you popped their cherry. Okay. All of you can think back to the one person who got you into shit. And you'll always be a fan of that person, no matter what. There's been tons of people you've been fans with on the in-between, okay? But the one who started you on this journey, you fucking remember. And you probably remember where you were, what you were reading, what you were doing. That's how magical that experience is, okay? So I've been blessed enough to be able to have with all of the art that I've made, to constantly have a fan base outside of other artists. Because I learned early on in the fucking punk days, dude, you cannot count on other bands to be your fans. You just can't. And there's nothing wrong with everybody else. It's just, you can't. I was a shitty fan to other bands I would hang out with. You know, we all are. Some of you are like, not me. Okay, you're the outlier. Wonderful. Another thing, like this channel, this is the thing that's weird that a lot of you guys don't realize. This channel is a lot of me giving writing tips and me giving writing advice. There's a lot of people who read my shit. This happens all the time. Like I get messages about it where people had no idea I even had a YouTube channel. And they're like, what? Wow. Because they came to my work through my work. And that's what they loved. And that's what they like eat up. You know what I'm saying? So all of this stuff, like when you guys buy my books, I get really excited and really touched because I don't expect you guys to buy my books. I expect my fans to buy my books. When you guys buy my books, it's like, oh my gosh, you guys are the shit. You guys are awesome. That's why I get so fucking excited when you guys tell me you do shit like that. Because I do not expect it from the writing community. Do you guys see what I'm saying? You need to reach out. You need to do things. Th if it's through your sub stack, do it that way. If it's through your mailing list. If it's through Instagram. Because like I always, 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 always tell people when they talk about... Because this, this was a big deal back in the Kindle Gold Rush. Like in the like 2012 and shit like that. Everyone who wrote a book wanted to then start a podcast about how to write a book and how to publish a book. And so everyone started getting these like fan bases of other writers and they were getting like tons and tons and tons of downloads, but they weren't selling any books and they couldn't figure out what the fucking deal was. They couldn't, they couldn't put it together. You know what I'm saying? That's just another thing. So however you do your outreach, however you do your marketing, you have to make sure you're marketing your art to people who want to read art or who want to take that in. Do not ever market your art to other artists on how to make art. Like, I, I hope that makes sense. Oh, so going back to the community versus audience thing. This is why um, when people get excited about like doing events, and being a part of groups and communities and shit like that. Why I just want people to temper their expectations because that first time is gonna be fun and big and awesome and you're gonna either sell or give away a lot of your shit. 
But unless that community is really fucking good at outreach, the next time you do that, it's gonna mainly be with the same people. And again, there is nothing wrong with this and it will make you feel like you're a part of something. And that's awesome, but that's not an audience. So you have to understand that you have to do more than just be in that circle. And some of you might be in like circles that you've been in for fucking like 20 fucking years. And when you don't grow, when your audience isn't growing, you feel like you did something wrong, but you didn't. It's just you are in a bubble and you're comfortable in the bubble, but your community is not your audience. You have to reach out. You have to go out past the bubble to build an audience. So anyway, I hope this is making sense. Keep buying my books. Shit Poems will be out soon. Mart is out now. Um, type hard, everybody. Type hard merch should be available down below. And I'm going to be doing a fiction writing week-long workshop in October. So pay attention. Keep your eyes out for that. All of the stuff I'm going to be talking about in there is also useful for poetry, okay? Because it's all the same thing. Type hard, keep buying my books, Poetic Anarchy for Life, and I will talk to you all later.